Hi, it's uh, Paul Terrow from Delio Advisory here. Just a, uh, a short video about FMC for organisations. Frameworks, models and concepts for organisations, whether profit, for profit or not for profit. And these uh, frameworks, models and concepts, uh, if you uh, use them, uh, if you consider some of the underlying principles uh, involved in them, um, it will lead to success. So, for this session, I want to, want to cover off the Lewis Marketing Model. Uh, the Lewis Marketing Model has been around for a number of years. It's been updated and uh, new things have been added to it. But as, at its essence, uh, this is what it is. The Lewis Marketing Model. A, I, D and A, and A. A, the first A, stands for attention. The I stands for interest. D stands for desire. And this uh, second A, the last uh, letter here, stands for action. So, let's just go over it. A for attention. How are you gaining people's attention? How are you gaining uh, your market's attention? What is causing people to shift their gaze upon you? I for interest. Once people have shifted their gaze upon you, what are you, what, by what manner, through what means are you causing them to then be interested in that product or service, interested in what you have to offer? And then D for desire. So once the gaze has shifted, you've hooked there and got their attention, how are you getting them to desire your product, your service? What are you getting them to become, uh, to step over that line, if you will? And then A for action. Once they have stepped across the line, what do you then want them to do? What action do you want them to take? So the Lewis marketing model. A for attention, I for interest, D for desire, and A for action. Consider these things uh, as you go about uh, your products and services. Consider these things uh, going forward uh, for your organisation. So this has been uh, Paul Terro of Delium Advisory with just another short uh, take on frameworks, models and concepts for organisations. Thank you. Let's go.